Hey everyone. So uh, I have a um, I have a five foot cat tree that we've had for a while, and then we just got another one that's uh, six feet tall. And the way we have it is, uh, my daughter's got her desk, and then we have one on each side of the desk. So uh, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to build a rope bridge to go between the the two cat trees. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so I I have a bunch of these scrap 1x6s that uh, I've just collected and uh, they're basically collecting dust. So, uh, and if you look at them they're they're a little warped or bowed. So th this is what I'm going to use to make the um, the runner for the rope bridge. Um, each one needs to be about a foot wide so I'm just going to cut these all down to a foot and then I'll just use however many I need to. The, the bridge is going to end up being about roughly about five feet across so, so I'm just going to cut these down to a foot. cut now. Um, the other things I'm going to need is I got this this rope right here. Um, I bought these U-shaped fencing nails. That's what I'm going to nail into the wood to hold the rope. And then baling wire. What I'm going to do with the baling wire is uh, this is a rope that I've cut down already to the length I need and I just tied a knot on each end and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the baling wire around the rope with and leave a piece sticking out with a loop in it and then I can just hook each end onto a, a hook that I'm going to put in each, uh, each side of the um, cat tree. So the first thing I need to do is I need to lay all these out and then run the rope across. There's going to be a rope across here and across this side and all of these are just going to be lined up. I'm going to nail the rope onto two nails in each board on both ends and uh, just lay out the length I need, nail it all down, put the baling wire on, and then um, put the hooks in the in the cat tree on both sides and then just hang it and it, that should take care of it. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is uh, get a piece of wire, I don't know, probably about 8 inches long or so, cut it off, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the wire through the knot, like 
that. Go back in a couple of inches or so. And then just wrap the wire around the rope. Use pliers when you get to the end because it's kind of hard on the fingers. And just wrap it around and then I'm going to squeeze right where the end is and squeeze it right into the rope. That way there's no sharp edge. And then also if it's squeezed into the rope, it kind of helps hold it in there.